つかさも心配していたけれども、私は夢を見つけたら、仲直りしてもらいたいわね。バレンタインズユニットキューピディアチオ is actually worth your gems so let's get into it right now she is a cloud front unit of course a tank I've actually been watching her for a while now in PvP in Japan server and let's start first with her stats the good thing is she has and ranks 11th place in the highest HP she could she said that means she's a really tanky tank um, the cons of her stats are she has slow speed. She she is 160th out of 222. Um, I really think she's slow. Um, especially if you're you really want to aggro. Um, it's usually um a strategic way for you to go first and make sure to aggro everyone. Okay, so let's start with her skills. She has Provoke 3, 3 rear enemies for just 2 AP, which I think is oh, actually fine. Because back units are like really the DPS kind of thing recently. Her pure arrow removes continuous negative effects and HP recovery to 2 allies with the lowest HP. Hmm, not that bad. I guess this is a good thing? I am not sure. Because the one of the only people I know or recall is that Sailor Lalafin is the one who could like remove negative effects from all members, I think. Or is that like three front? The three front units? Not sure, but not many stage girls have a cleansing skill. Um, what makes her worth pulling though is her third skill, the AP3, is her brilliance recovery to all allies. I have, I, as far as I remember and as far as I know, there are not at all, there's none, I think. There, there are not at all much tanks that could give brilliance recovery to all allies, or if, <laughs> if there is, tell me. If there's not, I'm not sure, but I don't. I think I've seen a tank who could give Brilliance Recovery to all allies? Or am I that dumb? I am not sure, but once you know, once you see a unit that could support its team and also have great use against the enemy and for the team, um, that's already a given point that you should pull and that a unit is worth it. So in this case, she could remove debuffs, she could provoke the three enemies which are like, you know, the meta right now, Sleeping Beauty, the back, ray, the back row, Hound Rukos, and she could give Brilliance Recovery to all. Um, her climax act is high aggro to all enemies, HP regen to self, and aggro not applied to get okay. So, okay, her kit, let's discuss her kit first. She could provoke the three rear enemies, which is good, because that affects mid lane to back lane. And those are the people you have to deal with, because they usually are the DPS. Um, she removes um, debuffs to the two lowest HP units, and I think this is just kind of okay, meh, sure. Um, we'll see how it goes, but it's... It's helpful, but it's not that entirely game-changing in my opinion, but I guess we'll see it and Maybe her HP regen is actually been big and decent enough to sustain um, She does brilliance recovery to all allies and yeah, that's like a given you should get her um, I think using her is good. She's situational she could actually help the low and weak units um, not touch or hit fortitude at once which could actually be pretty annoying to the enemy team and of course her climax act is aggro to all the only problem i have here is for higher um pvp sss um i think it would be hard for her because she's slow unless you give her a speed memoir 
because Fox is like really fast and she has aggro to all she can just go first she can just like steal your aggro and if you use your aggro right after hers it's basically useless so i think she is honestly a decent tank her unit skill is actually also nice um since back row units are coming out and her passives are very nice too um being a front unit um you'll receive almost all the attacks so Misora could hit you with like her poison, Amaterasus could burn you, Diao Chance could burn you, Dorothy's could stun you, and of course Momotaro could stun you. But I guess um which I wish she actually um had was the steep resistance instead. Because there are so much people with priestess in the upper levels and the higher up rankings who could just make her and put her to sleep. And since they are way faster than Yachio, she could act, they could just cancel her ult for fun. So yeah, I'd say she's an S lister for me, not an SS lister. Um, she's worth pulling if you don't have an aggro unit yet. If you don't have Moriarty, if you don't have Perseus, if you don't have Puck. Sure, you can get her, but I personally believe and think that if you have at least Moriarty, I think you don't really need to pull her. I mean, yes, she has Brilliance Recovery, which is really good, but I mean, there are mid laners, um, back laners who could actually give Brilliance Recovery, and I'm sure one uh, you might have at least have one of those. If you don't, just pull for her then. Um, she is unique. She has a unique kit, it's actually really um, new for me. But I think she is only worth pulling if you don't have Venus Recovery units, if you don't have aggro units, and if you're aiming to have like a backlane team. Because backstage girls are gonna be coming out real soon in the future, and knowing that she has a back global unit skill, it's actually very intriguing and really nice. Her passive skills are really nice too, because it counters a lot. A lot of people who could like, you know, give off you to death. And yeah, this is my review and I hope it was helpful. I guess I talked a lot, but <laughs> I'll try to fix it again next time. Enjoy!